everyone, welcome back to another video. It is National Infertility Awareness Week and I have been making videos all week for you to give you more information on infertility, IVF and everything in between. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to get pregnant if you can't get pregnant naturally. So if you're infertile, how do you get pregnant? The obvious one is IVF, which is what a lot of people end up having. Um, it's usually the last resort. IVF, in vitro fertilization. I hope I've said that right. <laughs> it says IVF is the type of fertility treatment where fertilization takes place outside the body. It is suitable for most people with a wide range of fertility issues and is one of the most commonly used and successful treatments available for many. So basically how IVF works is the woman will be put on a lot of drugs. So you will inject morning and night to stimulate your follicles and your ovaries to produce a multiple number of eggs. When you ovulate naturally, you will only produce one egg a month from either the left or right ovary. So this way it's like super ovulation. Grows lots of follicles which may or may not contain eggs and then they do like a surgery to get them out. Your partner, husband, donor, whatever will provide a sample and your eggs and the sperm will be put in a petri dish and le left to fertilize themselves. And then once they're fertilized, they become embryos and then into blastocysts and then hopefully into a baby. So I'm aware that this is gonna sound very jumbled and sciencey, so I apologize to anyone that isn't going through IVF that doesn't understand what any of this means, but thank you for listening anyway. Once the embryos have reached day three or five, they will be placed back, we call it a transfer. A transfer back into you via a little catheter. You will only have one or maximum two transferred at a time, and then you just wait and hope and pray and everything else. So there's a couple of different methods with IVF. So IVF is like the, the general main one. There's also an option called ICSI. That is where if your sperm has got a low motility, morphology, if there's any issues with the sperm, it basically means that the sperm is injected directly into the egg. So it, it fertilizes by a person, essentially by injecting it rather than it being left in a petri dish to do its thing. And then it's still grown the same, it's still put back in the same. Everything's the same, but ICSI is where the sperm is directly injected into the egg. And then also under the IVF bracket is donor eggs and donor sperm. So if, for example, you have no sperm, as in no, you've got no sperm count or for whatever reason, you can get a donor sperm or if you're a lady that wants to have a child and you aren't in a relationship and you want a donor and you want a baby on your own and you're gonna go out there and do it, you can get a donor. So that's another option and then it'll be done exactly the same way as IVF but you're using a donor sperm. And exactly the same, but if you have got no eggs and you need a donor egg, um, for whatever reason your egg isn't a good quality, it's not, you haven't got any eggs because you're in premature menopause, any of those reasons, there's gonna be a lot of reasons and I'm sorry for not listing them all and there's some amazing accounts out there if you are on the donor side. So your donor egg will be mixed with your partner's sperm and then you will have the transfer so you will carry the baby yourself even though it's not your egg. So that is how the donor eggs and sperm work as well. There is also, before you get to IVF, sometimes people have what's called an RUI, which is essentially artificial insemination. So that'll be, you will have drugs to make you ovulate or a natural ovulation cycle, and then your partner will produce sperm. They place the sperm into your womb for you. Just to give you a helping hand for whatever reason that you need to have an RUI. So those are the main alternative options when you can't have a baby naturally. I hope that has been informative and useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for another video tomorrow.